Shanty Hollow is a magical place any time of year. But in the winter when it snows, it truly turns into a winter wonderland. And whenever I come in here and try to photograph a location like this, or this under these kind of conditions, I'll always take time to just stop and look around first to see what really stands out, see what really jumps out at me and catches my imagination. What part of it do I really want to see? What part do I really want to photograph? And uh, it's important that you use your correct exposure values, your compensation values, and uh, so that you can get the nice white snow you know, without it turning gray on you. And uh, we're going to take a little time today and we're going to hike around it here. We're going to photograph. It's very cold today. It's about 10 or 11 degrees, but the sun has come out. The sky is very blue right now, so it's going to be really, really a lot of fun to do. So come and join me today. We're going to have some fun. wide angle lens right in here, 18 millimeter. That way uh, I can encompass more of the actual natural environment here. Uh, I love the contrast that we have here with the stream and the dark, dark bed, the snow and the rocks and everything here. Sometimes it's pretty hard to get the exposure correct uh, because of the, of the high contrast, but it's, it's, it's just too appealing not to at least try. Shanty Hollow, truly a magical winter wonderland. I've thoroughly enjoyed myself today. It's been cold, but I'm sure glad I came out. And you know what? We're going to do this again. We're going to have some more fun. We're going to keep coming back to the different parts of the year, explore this area in more detail. We're going to step beyond the campfire, take a look at it in a way that you maybe have never done before. 
Hope you can join me. We'll see you then. I've had uh, people ask me why their pictures of snow uh, look gray. And uh, there's a good explanation for that, or a simple explanation for that. And usually when you're shooting uh, in a, any kind of an auto mode, like it be aperture priority or shutter priority or even full auto, uh, what your camera's wanting to do is to set your exposure to a middle tone value. So when you're shooting something uh, white like snow, it's going to want to shift the value down to where it looks kind of a gray color. And that we don't want gray snow, we want white, beautiful white, fluffy snow. And so what we want to do is to use what's called the exposure compensation button. And that's that plus or minus button on top of your camera. Sometimes it's on the back of it. And so you want to tell your camera to add a little bit of light to it. So you move that, move that setting up to a plus value. And there's, they're incremented in one-third uh, uh, stop values like 0 0.3, 0 0.7, or full stop, something along those lines. And you can go as high as one full stop, maybe even more, uh, to get, get the results that you want. You have to experiment with it a little bit. But that's an easy way and a quick way to uh, improve the quality of your photographs of, of this beautiful white snow like we have today.